Hey guys, Dead Hobo here, and I'm going to be reviewing the Minecraft client Cobalt. It is in, currently in 0.4 Alpha. It is made by STL and some other people. It's, uh, yeah. The main menu is just, only thing added is count login, which is only this. Nero is basically the same way. Uh, let's just hop on my local host. Alright, so let's change the style back to how it normally is, or on default. This is how the uh, GUI is whenever you first open the client. It is, the GUI key is left, con right control, sorry. And yeah, I'm just going to put it back to classic, which is a normal type of GUI. We got the two theme or three themes, which is laced. Uh, it's broken at the moment. I hope they fix it. Wrath. Uh, I don't even like that theme. It just looks bad. Simple theme, which we'll have to use for now. All right, let's start with X-ray. You have you have to turn on Fulbright. It seems. And the only thing originally added is diamond ore. You have to add everything else yourself. Yeah. Free cam. It makes a player model of yourself. And free cam. Basically, just any other free cam. Alright. Now to speed mine. Alright, without what? Am I too close to spawn? Uh-oh. One second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I resolved the issue. I was too close to spawn. And I fixed it. Now, without speed mine on stone. Alright. With speed mine. Keep in mind this is local host and I have no ping. So speed mine will work pretty well for me. Oh, that's snooker. Yeah. I should probably Okay, that's a little bug. Finally, with speed mine on logs, and that's done. It's pretty fast, I guess. Just dump all my tools back in there. Uh, replace feature. This requires me to be in creative mode. I'm assuming game mode one dead hobo. All right. Now basically what this does, let's just place that there for starters. You can hold the block you want to replace with, punch it, and it'll just replace it. It's pretty useful for like if you're building something, like pixel art I guess. You just quickly place something and if you want it to be gone just hit it with your hand or a tool or something that can't be placed on the ground dump that back in there and change myself back to survival all right cave finder I made a cave for this it is kind of bug buggy I guess but that's definitely a cave as you see the mobs down there Alright, let's turn that off. Go to our next mod. Bunny hop. That just holds jump for you. That's all it does. Uh, sprint, which is our next mod. Just it sprints for you, easily. Alright. Agile fly. I'm 
have to be op for this one, but let me op myself real quick. Alright. Basically, it's where you can jump in the air. You just have to keep pressing it. Oh, flying not enabled. Yeah. Alright, let me de op myself. There, just making sure Creeper wasn't coming for me. Okay, then. There. That's done. Auto swim. Let's turn that off. No fall, it's obvious. Just skipped it. Auto swim. It just holds space bar for you. Alright, uh, fly. You know. Why can I fly? I'm opt. Or I'm not opt. What? I broke something. Oh well. Uh, anti velocity. Without. And with. I don't get knocked back or anything. That works good. Sneak, which is the next mod, automatically holds sneak down for you. Step. Seems it just jumps for you, but it works pretty well, I guess. Um, still jumps against walls, though. Alright, uh, ender port. I've never really figured that out, so I just skipped it. I don't think it works too well, either. Bow aimbot. Oh no, my zombie's gone. Alright then, let's lock, lock on that creeper, then. As you see, I just killed it in a few hits. Alright. Regen. Uh, feed myself. Oh, my server's crashed or something. What? Alright, then. I'll just ignore that. Alright, regen, that just regens for you. I'm not sure if it works or not. Quake bot. Uh, I can't really opt myself anymore. Um, basically, in the game of uh, Quake Craft, it's a mini game on high pixel. You have a real gun, and it just aims for you and hold and it hits right click, and it's fairly good. I'll show you. At the end of this video on the actual server itself. Criticals. I should probably turn criticals on, shouldn't I? Do I have to have kill or Okay, criticals don't seem to work. At least not on mobs. Uh, trajectories. Just right here. It puts a nice little mark on the ground. Whenever you're over uh, an entity it turns green I'm pretty sure. Okay it doesn't show for snowballs or eggs just arrows or a bow I should say. A lot of sword. Alright um uh, can't really test that. I'll show that on Quick Craft and or at the end of this video. Kill aura, that's obvious. Uh, breadcrumbs. Let's see, chest DSP is broken, that's why I'm not showing that off. Breadcrumbs look really nice. Look really nice. And it seems after a while they Retract or reduce lag. It should be quite a few blocks longer because that's not very long, obviously. But, you know, uh, motion blur, I never really got that to work. I think it's only supported on some graphics cards. Tracers goes to mobs. Again, only supported on some graphics cards because of the smoothing and such. But you can see whatever I'm not facing it. A wireframe that puts the 
blocks. I don't know. I can't really explain it too well. Uh, basically makes them wires, I guess. Wire looking. And waypoints. Have tracers as well. Dot waypoints. That's all the commands. Waypoints clear. Actually, let's do list. As you see, it tells you where they're at and what their names are and what color they are, of course. Dot waypoints clear. And let's do list again, and it lists nothing because I don't have any waypoints. Uh, hit spheres. Can't really show that because I need another person. But apparently, put a sign. Fulbright. Let's turn that off. As you see, it's pretty dark. And now it's really dark. Turn on Fulbright. Now we can see. Beacon, which is one of the last hacks. Or mods, I should say. Let's see here. Do that. And. It, there we are. As you see, it puts a fairly large. Yeah, this is the beacon area. As you see. Can I break this? Yes, I can. Oh, yeah, zombies can track from 80 blocks away. But it just gets larger and larger as you. As you have the beacon area size get larger. Let's mine this beacon. Then it's going to get fairly large in a moment. There we are. It seems that they're the same size for each beacon. It's just the more layers you have, the more options you can choose from. Let's break that and place our last one. And now, there we are. And yeah, now for the dot commands. <coughs> Alright, I won't be doing the dot commands, I'll just be explaining them. Basically, step, uh, that just toggles it, uh, breadcrumb toggles, toggles it, dot stp, that works on bucket, where you can type in dot stp, and no matter what, it'll teleport you to spawn, it'll kick you, and have you teleported to spawn, no matter what, it's instant. Dot remove, that's, I'm assuming, for a, uh, uh, what is it, for friend list, and dot add, dot bow aim bot, that tells you, uh, either animal or mob. Uh, quake bot toggles it, uh, ender port toggles it, that's the style I showed in the beginning of the video, for dot style. Dot x-ray, that's to add and remove blocks to the x-ray. Dot waypoints, I can show that off real quick. Dot waypoints, dot waypoints, add 866, 56, 760. Uh, let's just say 9. I don't know. I forgot to name it. Sorry about that. Uh, name. There we are. Alright, let's turn on waypoints. As you see, it's got that there. That's white, because apparently 9 doesn't work. I'm gonna end up dying. Uh, can't do anything with the console, apparently. Um, I'm just gonna like hide in the ground. Alright. Let's go with the doc do the documents again. Uh, auto respawn that just respawns as soon as you die. Uh, dot bind that's to bind a module to a key. Might as well. It's easier just to do it through the key binds tab. Um, dot rg. I'm that seems to be for world edit. 
I don't really see a point in it, but okay. The world guard. Wireframe toggles it. Cave finder toggles it. Uh, dot AV. That's anti-velocity toggle, it seems. Dot attack. I just... Uh, assuming kill aura. Speed mine. Uh, you can change speed. Or, or you can have packet or normal. Dot... IT enchantment. Apparently, you can uh to enchant items. Let's try that. Here, dot IT. Might be uh efficiency. You must be in creative mode. Ah, crap. Um, all right, I'll show that at the end of the video. Uh, hit spheres. That's toggle. No fall. That's a toggle. Flight, that's to change the speed, obviously, and freaking to change the speed. Auto soup. Uh, say you're using auto soup on a kit PvP server, and you're, you want to set uh, how much health you want it. The lowest amount of health before it uses the next soup. You use dot auto soup in the threshold. Uh, auto sword, it's a toggle. Trajectories is a toggle. Spawn teleport. Uh, I guess that's S uh, STP. Dot spam start stop. Dot spam start. Yes, I guess my name is John. I hate every single one of you. Okay then. Alright, turn that off. Alright. Let's see here. That's all of the commands. There's not many special ones. Most of them are just uh, toggles. I guess we'll do this last hack. LSD. And my frame rate is very bad for some reason. Let's turn that down. There. I don't know why my frame frames are being bad. But that's LSD. Alright, time to. I'm going to hop on Hypixel and do a game of quake and show you all right guys i am now in a game of quake uh quake craft on hypixel server and i'm going to be uh playing a game with quakebot on all right as you see it's trying to aim at that person Alright, let's do this. Oh, okay, I died. Gotcha. We got a double kill. Apparently I've only gotten two kills so far. And that Polo Pie guy must be using a Quake bot up, or he's either really good. All you have to do is basically just run around and they'll get everyone for you. Uh, I'm going to cut to where the game is about to end now. Right, guys, the game just ended. That Polo Pie guy, he has a diamond uh, hoe, meaning he's played for a long time. And he can basically constantly shoot. But that uh, is QuakeBot, and it works on this server. Uh, and, uh, copy IP. That's the IP if you ever want to join it. And use QuakeBot or just play normally. Alright, that is the Cobalt review. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.